My name is Denise Coe-Genovese and I'm here in Cannes at the IPEM Private Equity Conference with David Smith from Capital Dynamics. David, thanks so much for joining me. Well, thanks for inviting me, it's great to be here. Um, so I understand you're here to talk about all things co-investment. Yeah, it's, the, uh, it's my metier really, it's, it's the, uh, the only thing I've really done in private <laughs> equity over the years. And so. can I ask you, there's a lot of hype around co-investments, do you think in your mind, is it a passing phase still or definitely here to stay? No, I think, I think it's become an asset class in its own right. Um, if we'd been having this conversation 10 years ago, or even 15 years ago, I think if I'd answered that question, it would have been a very different answer. It was very embryonic in those days, a very nascent part of the private equity universe. But now you can't go to any event, this one, you know, for example, without co-investment being a big yeah. part of the agenda. And it's here to stay fundamentally because the economics that are attached to it are attractive to yeah. the most important people who are here, the limited partners, the investors. And how do you go about building up a portfolio of co-investments? <laughs> Carefully, I yeah. think, is the, is, the, is the word I would use. I think the most important thing is not to do it in an ad hoc, sort of opportunistic fashion. Um, I would say that, wouldn't I, because we think we do it in a very disciplined way, we do do it in a very disciplined way. But if you look at the academic research um, that's, that's been written in the last three or four years around co-investment, um, in Oxford University, for example, a very good uh, report on that uh, a year or two ago by uh, Professor Tim Jenkinson, um, one of the conclusions that he comes to is that it has to be done in, in a disciplined way using um, a broad network of general partner relationships and ensuring that you build a portfolio in a sensible way, in a disciplined way, and with a phrase we use a lot in our firm, intelligent portfolio construction. Okay. Um, it's really important to, to adhere to those three words, intelligent okay. portfolio construction. And to your point on relationships with the GPs, presumably they're quite long-term relationships. I imagine there are lots of nuances around those. Um, can you talk a bit about how you go about maintaining those long-term GP relationships? Yeah, I, it's a really important facet of what we do. Um, uh, about 70% of the transactions we, we conclude are from the, the general partner community in whose funds other parts of my firm are invested. Um, so they are, if you like, they're the, my colleagues in the primary funds business create the option that is the co-investment opportunity. So it's very important to make sure that you do two things correctly. Firstly, you make those partners in those firms aware that you have a co-investment capability. You know, they're busy people, the men and women in those firms sometimes forget, so you need to remind them frequently that that's the case. And then be reliable. Um, if you're trying to conclude a deal and you're 40, 50 million short and you're relying on the co-investor to provide that on a certain day, on agreed terms, that's really important. If that 40 million doesn't appear, the deal falls apart. Um, you only do that once with a general partner. So be straightforward and reliable. Yeah. And internally, how do you go about evaluating or monitoring the opportunities that come up? Well, we would submit that you need a dedicated team. We have a dedicated team in our firm. I think most established co-investors uh, do indeed have a dedicated team. The discipline is different um, from fund investing. Fund investing is about manager selection. Co-investing is about portfolio company management selection. Almost the same word, but I'm emphasising the difference for reasons you'll understand, and I think most people understand. Um, so it, it, it's, it's really important to have a team that can address, evaluate, monitor and add value actually to the underlying opportunity and I think for that reason the team has to have direct investment in DNA in its flowing in its veins and we submit that that's the right way to do it. David Smith, Capital Dynamics, thank you very much. Pleasure, nice speaking with you, thanks for inviting me.